Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Trevor Marinera. I'm joined here by my team, Gura Rao, Alvaro Varela, and Eve Puxel. We're here today to present the UT Design Project sponsored by Research in Motion. Our goal is to measure current that is being supplied to specific subsystems within a smartphone. Battery life is a very crucial thing for smartphone users, as you all know, and I assume that most of us have smartphones. So understanding how, how different ICs affect um, battery life is a very important thing for us to do. <clears throat> so we set about a list of objectives. The first objective was to characterize different usage cases. Usage cases such as sending a text message, taking a picture, recording video, and you know, sending a file via Bluetooth. <clears throat> the second process was to, uh, the next process within this step was to review schematics. Reviewing these schematics would ultimately help us identify subsystems that are, that are active during specific use. So we had to thoroughly review all the schematics of the, of the device and the, uh, our team was supposed to know exactly what each subsystem does and which, which blocks are active within the subsystem. The next thing we did was to develop a test system, an accurate test system for that matter. So we had to draw, measure the voltage, uh, the voltage that is being supplied to the different subsystems across a, a resistor. And that, that voltage is very small. So another thing we had to do was to develop a data acquisition for our results. So what we did was we created a lab view program that would acquire this data and relay it back to us and we would plot it and then analyze the data for the different usages. <clears throat> One of our challenges was within uh, developing the, the data acquisition. Because the smartphone is rapidly changing, we had to make sure that as an analog input was being measured and converted into a digital um, signal within the, the, within the program, we had to measure results from the rising edge uh, right in the middle and at the falling edge so that we can relay accurate data back to, uh, to our sponsor. So that was one of the challenges that we had. Um, in acquiring data, so making sure that we, we we got accurate data and then that the way we were measuring was accurate. So for our senior design one, what we did was we developed a test system where we would measure the voltage based upon a usage case, such as navigating the menu, and we would plot that, that we would plot that the, the voltages and uh, the currents based upon that usage case. And what we found out was our acquisition system was not accurate because. Like I mentioned, the phone is dynamically changing, so we want to make sure that we accurately got that res those results. So our outlook for the future is to continue to develop a, a, a proper acquisition system and continue to provide those accurate results. Thanks, Dr. So, time for questions? The data on the plot was collected. Well, it wasn't adequate. Yes, it wasn't adequate. What we did was we connected the battery to um, the device, and we implemented a, a very low resistance um, across that. And what we found out, the first message or resistance value was very high, so we had to use a very small resistor. And we would measure the voltage drop across those, that resistor. So what we're going to do for the senior design too is we're going to we have ordered some um, amplifiers that will amplify. Since we're going to we're going to reduce the resistance, and we're going to amplify that voltage and then read it back out in our data acquisition. I had understood the problem to be a timing thing. Things were happening and changing dynamically. Yes. And how are you addressing that? Well, well, faster sampling, as I mentioned, um, an analog signal is being input and data acquisition is converted into digital. So we have to make sure that we're acquiring data at the rising edge, edge and the falling edge, and in between. So what data are you sampling with? We're currently sampling at, um, I believe our samples are sampling every, every microsecond. So we have to increase that. I'm sorry, we're milliseconds. Milliseconds? Yes. So after you collect this data, what did I hope to do with it? Well, with all this information, obviously, IDing what specific ICs are being used and how they're affecting the battery life, they can then optimize their systems and you know, do different power management techniques. The key with our project is that usually when current is measured, it's measured just per IC. We are implementing usage cases, so every time use the phone, we're mapping the power that you're using. 
So, for instance, the key, each keystroke is visible, each uh, the snapshot of the camera is visible, and we can map this out and create an average plot over time. And that, that average plot is a very good indication of what uses the most power. For instance, okay. the camera. So, they don't have the ability now to show, uh, like some of the phones do, uh, that your battery is being used by display or by email or. Oh, well, exactly. So, for instance, taking a picture looks like it's very high and it consumes a lot of power, and that is true, but the time span that it spends taking a picture is very small. The keyboard might end up taking more power, and uh, that's basically what we want to try to just uh, give for it so that they can optimize it. Are you integrating all this, uh, this graph over time so you can get a total energy coming up? Yes, that is part of the next step so that we can quantify the two power. Okay, let's thank you.